a brand new production company, a surprising leap into the world of fashion, and comedy that's as clean as it gets. Dave Coulier hasn't been in the public spotlight as much since the original Full House ended in 1995, but he's still making moves. No, he did not become a ventriloquist like Uncle Joey, but Dave Coulier has lent his voice to many characters in his career. Portraying a variety of characters on shows like Robot Chicken and American Dad, the actor even voiced multiple characters on Muppet Babies, including Animal, while he was working on Full House. Did someone write Uncle Joey specifically for Coulier? Because it seems like these two have way too much in common. Or perhaps he simply put a lot of himself into the popular role. <laughs> okay, kids, cut it out! Coulier told Today in 2019, I got to bring a lot of elements from my real life into the show. I'm an airplane pilot, so we did an episode where I got to fly Jesse and drop him off in a tomato patch. We did an episode where I got to play ice hockey, and we also got to incorporate some of my stand-up in the show. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that before and after his iconic stint on Full House, this TV star found lots of work as a voice actor. Some performers want to break out of a box that a role puts them in. After Full House, Bob Saget was known for his very non-Danny Tanner filthy brand of stand-up. But Dave Coulier doesn't mind being known as a family-friendly comic. In fact, he relishes it. The multi-talent even toured with a comedy show in 2013 that he helped put together called The Clean Guys of Comedy. Comedians like Coulier, Jamie Kennedy, Heather McDonald, and others performed 20-minute sets to comprise the show, which was filmed for distribution. Doing family-friendly comedy was always Coulier's preference, which has balanced well with the type of work he's done throughout his showbiz career. In 2013, he told Westward, I've been doing stand-up for a long time, and I've been involved with a lot of family entertainment over the years. So from that and always doing clean stand-up, I decided that audiences just want to laugh without that F-bomb aftertaste. He added that there are lots of audiences for clean comedy, and pointed to the likes of Jim Gaffigan as an example of how clean comedians can be successful. In pursuit of growing family-friendly entertainment, Dave Coulier teamed up with animator, director, and producer Bob Harper to found Grilled Cheese Media in January 2021. Per the company's news page, Coulier said, "...the response has been overwhelmingly positive. We're already in discussions with major streamers, networks, and studios, who are all showing great interest in our animation and live-action projects." Coulier and Harper had previously teamed up in 2016 on a musical storybook series for kids called The Adventures of Jimmy Booger. Additionally, they released a book called Major Marlowe Meets the Monster from Mars in August 2021, and also teamed up with Cyber Group Studios that November to make a show called Yum Yum for preschool-aged children. After starting work on the Fuller House series for Netflix, Dave Coulier moved back to his hometown in Michigan, so his comments about returning to the show after all those years are especially heartwarming. Coulier told People in 2016, "...it's surreal being back. It's like moving out of your house when you're a kid and then you move back in. It shouldn't be this much fun." Even though they technically weren't castmates for decades, most of the original Full House cast remained close in all those years. In 2019, Coulier told Today that he even introduced Candace Cameron Bure to her future husband at a hockey game, which made him feel like Cupid. He added that he knew that kind of long-lasting relationship among a cast is unique, but that everything came back to them when filming began on the reboot series. Coulier explained to Today, "...all of the old jokes that we told back in the day are little silly songs that we sing to each other." Coulier went on to add, "...we have not missed a beat. Uh, all of that stuff still comes back into play." When Closer Weekly asked Dave Coulier about his bucket list in November 2020, he brought up wanting to continue to create family entertainment because he feels that it's been lacking. Coulier also noted that since there aren't enough shows like Full House these days, that was why he was going to make them. Cue his production company, Grilled Cheese Media. Coulier told the outlet, I created a show called Uncle Dave's Laugh Emporium. It's kind of my version of Pee Wee's Playhouse. And so I'm with a new company called Invent TV. We're going out and doing pitches with that show. 
It appears that the show title is an homage to his time as Uncle Joey. Before shooting began for this series in Detroit, Coulier told the Detroit News in May 2020 that his goal would be to keep doing local shoots should it be picked up to network. He also mentioned that Uncle Dave would showcase a Michigan-based child actor, Penelope Lemieux, who Coulier called an unbelievable talent with the potential to be a huge star. Because of the cartoon elements of the show, Coulier likened it to a mashup of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and the aforementioned Pee-wee's Playhouse. Thanks to Dave Coulier's Cut It Out wear, you too can have a variety of shirts with the iconic phrase, Cut It Out, emblazoned on the front, or a cartoony Mr. Woodchuck saying, Got wood? Hey Jimmy, are you made of… wood? MTV News even featured the clothes in an article back in 2015. Coulier sometimes reminds followers that the line exists on social media, too. Keeping up with the times, the shop even has face masks to add to your personal pandemic collection. Back in 2015, Coulier told Loha that the merchandise was selling like hotcakes. We can't keep this stuff stocked. We even came up with these things called Gladstones. They're little rocks that I draw faces on. It's absolutely crazy, but it's really cool that the fans wax nostalgic about all this stuff, so we're going to keep doing it as long as people enjoy it. It doesn't appear those expressive stones are on the site anymore, but maybe they'll make a comeback? After all, they appear to be all the rage in 80s and 90s nostalgia. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.